Dr. Oluda Lapo Olari Waji, and the topic is systematic literature review of building information modeling and green building certification systems. And Dr. Uh, Olawaji, you can share your screen to start. Yeah, great. Um, thank you very much. Um, my name is Oludalapo Holarewaju. I'm a PhD student of Victoria University of Wellington, and uh, my supervisor, uh, Dr. Wallace and um, Dr. Mike. So, uh, um, I'll be presenting. In um, the topic entitled Systematic Literature Review of Building Information Modeling and Green Building Certification Systems. And um, today, the, um, the content of my presentation will be introduction, research background, methodology, result, future research actions, and the key words. So, um, the sustainability generally. Sustainability is actually a very complex. Um, complex um, P normal minimum that's um, over the last few years um, professionals from the construction industries have been paying very keen attention to to environmental sustainability generally and um, gradually there has been interest in the use of technologies such as beam IoT and blockchain technology so um, looking at the industry outlook, um, there has been calls from the key key stakeholders of the construction industry to to fully integrate um, technologies such as BIM into the green building certification process. And also um, looking at the left hand side, we can see the call from the, that suggested that um, we should we should increase these standards of um, the green building certification systems. And then for us to increase this standard, we need to incorporate some level of technologies. So oh, justifying my study, um, over the last um, few years, there has been studies that have um, done systematic literature review. Just that um, one thing I have observed is that um, is that um, he, he, there is still not a clear gap be between um, BIM and green building certification systems. And then um, some of the previous studies has been, been limited in terms of database and then um, the green building certification system that was considered. So oh, in, in my study, I considered all the green building certification systems generally, and then um, I reviewed 84 papers voting from Scopus. So for the research question for the systematic literature review is what is the level of beam implementation in green building certification systems and what are the future research directions in the beam GBCS domain? So oh, this is the um, systematic literature review process. I, don't know, um, I am trying to enlarge it. Okay, yeah, this is the of all, there is step one and there is step two. So oh, for the step one, the step one was where I developed the protocol by formulating the, the purpose, the research question, the keywords and the database selection. And also going further to the step two, is the systematic literature review yeah, yeah, extraction process where where I formulated the search string, the the inclusion and exclusion criteria, the title and abstract scanning and quality assessment coding and data extraction. So oh, in total from the initial search, I got around 400 papers and then um, of which I had excluded um, papers that I got around 84 papers that were thoroughly reviewed. So 
or from the review considering the sustainability areas and paper count, I noticed that um, most of the current research has been more focused on the environmental dimension of sustainability. And then very few papers could consider the economic and social aspect of sustainability, particularly the social aspect of sustainability is actually the lowest. And then from the chart, we can see that um, most of the research papers on the, the environmental dimension are focused on energy generally. And then looking at the trend of papers from the chart as well, we can see that um, the highest number of papers was the papers published in um, 2020, which is a total of 24 papers. So going further, going further, um, we can also see the GBCS and then um, the top 10 journals. We can see that um, most of the research only consider the lead building rating system. Why the next in line is actually the BRIM, which account for 10% of all the papers. And then um, we can see that um, the highest papers was gotten from sustainability, automation in construction and sustainable cities and society. So for in the process of um, re reviewing those papers, um, I deduced that um, the blockchain could as well assist the green building certification system process. So for, I developed a conceptual framework for, for the Green Star NYZ assessment process of how blockchain can be incorporated into the process. So, so, so we can see that um, this involves um, the use of smart contracts. So, so, so a smart contract is actually developed and then um, he implemented to store the documents, to receive payments, and as well follow the process throughout the assessment process. So oh, from the, the from the papers reviewed as well, I noticed that um, Green Beam and GBCS could also benefit from big data. As we can see in previous um, research by Jale and Mamadi 2020, they, they applied the KNN algorithm to predict the missing credits. And also we can, we can see the use of hope of a um, genetic algorithm and um, other machine learning technique that has been applied in previous studies to assist the, the to aid the assessment process of green buildings. So for here in this chart, I, I designed this um, framework as well, sh showing the key areas of big data analytics. The next area is the, the application of war ontology to the BIM GBCS domain. So although we can see that um, over the last few years, there has been transition from the B BIM ontology to the BIM GBCS ontology. We only, at the moment, we only have few papers that are focused on this, this um, aspect. And then that is Jijian um, 2018 and Zhang 2019 as well. Just that um, one thing about these studies is that um, they were from China and then um, they focused solely on the Chinese green building rating system, which is the ESGB. And then they only considered specific criteria of the GBCS. So for regarding the future research directions and um, from the papers, this can be deduced that um, there has been a number of studies that has called for integration of, of um, emerging technologies like BIM into the green building assessment process. And then at the moment, there are still some gaps in this research domain. So 
for future studies could concentrate on developing a framework for the complete integration of BIM and GBCS. And also there are specific credits in the green building certification system criteria that has not been addressed. Things like water, land use, ecology, the social, social yeah, economic aspect of sustainability and um, acoustics as well. Only very few research has been done in those aspects. And then um, another thing that was observed from the review is that is that um, a number of the current studies only concentrated on the use of BIM for the green building certification system. And then they are solely focused on the energy aspect of, of, of the, the rating system. And then um, also there is there is a um, lack of uh, beam based um, ontology for green building certification system. So, for future studies, could concentrate on them um, trying to develop a framework. Work could benefit from trying to develop a framework that could integrate all these credits. So, um, yeah, I and um, another from the application spotting as well, I noticed that um, the green building certification system could, could um, benefit from big data, blockchain, IoT. So has to facilitate the BIM-based GBCS evaluation. Thank you. These are the key references. Thank you. Okay, thanks for the presentation. And let's move to Q&A. And we may only have time for one question. Anyone would like to ask from site? Um, if, if anyone would like to ask? If, sure, I have a quick see. question. So uh, gathering information to certify green buildings is already pretty challenging. Um, Manufacturers, suppliers of materials, construction companies tend not to be very transparent. Um, and so I'm, I'm curious, what do you think would motivate uh, this group of stakeholders to adopt blockchain technology if they're already hesitant to be transparent, even with traditional information systems? Oh, oh, okay, um, thank you very much for the question. Um, First of all, um, I think um, there, there are so much work to be done by the government because um, because I feel if government could develop some kind of policies that can create conducive environment for blockchain to thrive. So all the key stakeholders of the construction industry would not be hesitant to incorporate blockchain and um, also i feel that um, the fact that um, there are less success stories about the benefit of blockchain for green building certification system at the moment most of the key stakeholders do not see the real time benefit and um, what blockchain can do to change the overall green building assessment process. So oh, looking at it truly, over the years, um, there has been a um, lot of um, development regarding um, transparency. See, from, from, from the part of the suppliers and um, manufacturers to be particular, a number all of them are not usually transparent, maybe uh, um, due to the sake of um, competition and um, all those sort of things. Just that I feel if the government could, could, could um, create some sort of policies that enforce blockchain technology, I feel the industry would go far in implementing this technology. Yeah, I got it. It's not an easy question. So thank you for the answer. Yes. All right. Yeah. 
Thank you. So perhaps let's move on to the next speaker.